story tonight, a community rallying behind a family who lost a father of seven. Waheed Etemad had come to the United States just four years ago after he worked for the United States government in Afghanistan. Etemad was killed by a wrong way driver as he drove northbound on Highway 101 early Sunday morning. The wrong way driver was also killed. Crown Force J.R. Stone talked with the victim's 13 year old son. My dad is not here without him. Everyone is kind of a lot sad, and they can miss him a lot. Yeah, and I miss him. 13 year old Yaya without his dad after that dad. Wahid Etimad was killed by a wrong way driver on Highway 101. The accident happened in San Francisco early Sunday morning. Wahid was a driver for Uber and had a passenger in his car when that wrong way driver hit them. Wahid and the other driver died. His son Yaya remembers when he was told what had happened. Two policemen came and they were like, we have bad news for you. They took, a, they took my mom and my sister and me up there and said, I have bad news that your dad passed away. Years ago, Wahid worked as a translator for the U.S. government in Afghanistan. He brought his family to the United States legally four years ago. Wahid was currently a full-time student and full-time worker, working overnights as an Uber driver to support his wife and his seven children seen here. Many of them are too young to understand what has happened. Those at the Muslim Community Center are working to help the family. These items have been donated and online more than $200,000 has been raised in hopes of finding them permanent housing. There's a hope that officials will help too. If the, if the county office, Congress, Senator Pelosi, she's from San Francisco, if they can hear us and they can, we need this family. We need help with them. We need a permanent shelter for them. We need this family. If any of these children goes astray or in the wrong direction, it will be the fault of not only these 14 people, it will be the part, fault of this whole uh, state. As for Yaya, he understands the challenges ahead. My dad passed away. Without him, my family, none of them can work. All of them are small. And my mom, she doesn't speak English and don't, don't, can't drive. And she has all the kids to go to school, to come back, have lunch. She can't do anything. Just a heartbreaking story. At last check, more than $213,000 has been raised for this family in just two days. Now, they are not U.S. citizens, but those here in the community are doing what they can to try and make sure that they can stay here in the United States. In Pleasanton, J.R. Stone, Cron 4 News.